Traders right around the world, what an incredible week we have seen so far in our top 13 individual traders. What I'll do as at Thursday afternoon is just walk through some of the shares which have actually triggered, are moving in our direction, others which we have closed out, and also additional ones which are setting up to give us some amazing moves next week when they do confirm and when they do break out. I'm talking to and referring about Netflix in that Bollinger Band squeeze. So what I'll do, first of all, I'll start with Apple this week. You can see our contingent order here at about $110.78. As at the close of Thursday's trading session, if I can bring up my drawing tool, we're up here at about $112.82, a little bit of a, or really $2 of intrinsic value in those call options. Congratulations. Traders who jumped on board with that Apple trade so far, so good. It's continuing in the bullish trend. It has broken out of that little rectangular stair step pattern, which I spoke about over the weekend. So congr congratulations, pardon me, on placing, of course, that bullish trade on Apple. Amazon today broke out above that 313.64 trade. This was a trade which I personally did not take. It goes against, of course, the trend, which is in effect, which is to the downside. You can see these exponential moving averages still really in, and has a really good opportunity of acting as resistance. But today you saw a nice little bullish pop on Amazon. So for those of you in that class who took that 313.64 trade, you're up about $3. We're trading at 316.48. Congratulations on another profitable trade. I'll skip over Baidu. It hasn't really made any good net movement this week. We had a pretty decent bearish engulfing candlestick pattern today. But the bullish trend is still intact. Expect buyers to pick back up around the 10 and the 20 and for this trend to continue to the upside. Caterpillar today, look at this perfect, perfect uh, engulfing pattern right at that resistance level. You can see right here, let me just remove this old stop on this Caterpillar trade. Been speaking about how Caterpillar has got a very, very good likelihood, a very good chance of breaking down once we come back up and retest this old resistance level. Today, on increasing bearish volume, you can see this perfect candlestick which we have expected. I'm still going to keep my trigger here at $97.81. I am very, very close or convinced anyway to bring this up, but I do want additional confirmation in this Caterpillar trade. We did get burnt a little bit for this little pull or bullish bounce about a week ago. It didn't end us. It didn't uh, define us, but I don't want to get into any whipsaw trades based on the trading week, which we have seen this week. It really has been quite an incredible trading week. Disney, not a whole lot going on with this particular stock, trying to break down below that 88.54. It looks as if we are going to fill this most recent bearish earnings gap. Real no, no net movement on that particular stock. Facebook is still continuing to move sideways between these two trade triggers at 77 and 71 to the downside. Very neutral on Facebook for the remainder of the week. Google, again, look at this. We've got two engulfing candlestick patterns at this resistance level. This is really the perfect type of trade setup. You can see the similarities between the breakdown, the bounce, the retest of the 50, the retest of this old support, which is going to act as new resistance. You can see the selling pressure starting to pick up on Google. Pretty interesting candlesticks. I've got my triggers here at 548.56 to the downside. If in fact, Google wants to roll over and continue what appears to be that lower high, which is setting up relative to the highs made in September 2014 and also July and August 2014. So this trade is definitely starting to come good. It's com coming full circle anyway. It's just a couple more days we need to wait until we start to see Google set up a very decent trade setup. How today had very, very irrational volume. Uh, you can see this Bollinger Band squeeze starting to take place on how. I'm not sure if you had this open in your trading account. You shouldn't have because price was down here. About $52 this is one to monitor. But you can see definitely if I go back to the volume reading, you can see that spike in volume. What that means is that either we're really basing ourselves down here on how there's a lot of accumulation going on this particular candlestick or in fact there were a lot of sellers taking place up at this old resistance level this is going to be very very interesting you can move your triggers down below the low of Thursday's candlestick and also place your bullish trigger above the high of Thursday's candlestick this is going to pop trust me when I bring up the Bollinger Bands look at this this nice squeeze taking place a couple more days maybe a week and you'll see some very rapid volatility come into HAL very similar to what I'm expecting on Netflix this is one of the stocks which is really really got me excited. Please pay attention to the price of Netflix moving forward into the future. You can see this 396.50 trade set up to the bullish side. You've also got this 371.90 trade set up to the bearish side. I put out a video, at least in the pro class over the weekend, I really wanted to, or you for instance, to pay attention to just how quickly these Bollinger Bands are going to constrict price. Look at what has occurred over the past three to four days of trading. These are very, very close. They're constricting price. The volatility in Netflix is historically low right now at the moment. But please do not be fooled. Don't think that Netflix isn't going to move. That is not the case. This is going to be an incredible trade. As a trader, as a professional trader, as a coach and mentor, it doesn't bother me which direction Netflix wants to move. How cool is that? It doesn't bother me one bit. But if we start breaking above this, or above these two resistance levels, getting outside that upper Bollinger Band, roughly 396.50, or if we start breaking below these support levels and start moving lower, 
either way or either direction Netflix breaks, it's going to be really an incredible trade. So please pay attention to Netflix. It is going to reward those who keep a very close eye on Netflix. Today, Starbucks again, hovering right around that 7781 trade trigger. High wave spinning top or at least a spinning top candlestick. No real net movement, only up four cents. The candlestick in and of itself is dark because the close was lower than the open. That gives us an interesting signal, but still the volume is pretty decent. I mean, it, it's nothing to really talk about too much, but a little bit of an increased pop in bullish volume. Pay attention to Starbucks. If you are in this trade, set your stop below the lows of these four candlesticks. You can see how we manage these trades and, and really define our risk. And we want to just see, of course, the trades move or at least momentumly move in our favor over time. That is what is the case on Starbucks. Tesla today is another interesting stock. You can see this bullish trade setup, which we had at 248.28. Pretty decent trade. We're trading up here at 251.70. What's that? That's about $3.70, $3.50 so far. Very close to our target up here at 257.20. So very, very close. Interesting candlestick. It's what we call a uh, shooting star candlestick. And that's just reflecting really the sellers taking place at the top of this bearish uh, gap, which occurred in Netflix early October. So an interesting trade, another profitable trade, another happy trade for many people in that analysis class. Congratulations. Now, Twitter's really been the talk of the town. High volatility stock on Wednesday. We saw it pop. Um, again, we exited on the Wednesday at our target down here at $39.35. A lot of people got carried away on the upside, saw Twitter gapping up pre-market on Thursday, got involved, I'm imagining, in the social media world. But you can see this very, very ominous candlestick take place the following day. As at Thursday, you can see uh, Twitter was down $2.50. It doesn't seem like a lot, but for a stock which trades around $40 at the moment, that's over 5%. So a pretty decent move on Twitter to the downside. Uh, increasing volume as well, which is interesting. It really counteracts, of course, that bullish volume on Wednesday. Um, in the way of a trade setup for Twitter, it's really not something which I'm focused on at the moment until it starts moving below 37.46. I do believe we are going to base on Twitter. This is going to act as macro support, and we will probably move sideways, get into a low volatile trading, uh, period over the next week or so. We'll see these Bonja bands squeeze as well as they base. Pardon me, my mobile phone is just going off. My apologies for that. Just need to hop up and turn that phone call off. You can see these Bollinger Bands again going to constrict uh, Twitter. I do believe we are going to sort of phase out this high volatility, which we've seen over the past two days. We will then get into a sideways moving uh, stock and then we can really bring down this bullish trigger, bring up this bearish trade trigger, similar to that of Netflix and also uh, Caterpillar which I sort of contemplated just before in this market update. And that's really where the next trade setup on that particular stock is going to lay. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that is a Thursday afternoon market recap. My apologies for my phone going off during the recording, completely unscripted, uh, forgot about it, forgot, pardon me, to turn it onto silent. If you have any questions, email me success at pivotpoint-trading.com. Otherwise, I'll see you on the weekend for that pro analysis class. Congratulations, traders. You're doing some fantastic work, some fantastic trades. You're learning how to, of course, become disciplined to hold back on certain trades. Uh, understand when it's the right time to enter into trades based on trade confirmation. That's the whole point here at Pivot Point Trading, teaching you how to autonomously eventually trade the markets for profit. All the best, ladies and gentlemen. I'll catch you almost likely Friday afternoon and, of course, over the weekend in that pro analysis class. Goodbye.